Hi all, Dev from Practical Inspiration here and I'm excited to share this video with you as I'm working with Marco from Straight Mind. Marco is a psychologist and YouTuber helping people to motivate themselves and build stable habits. He is also a coach and is offering a free first call on his website, straight-mind.com, which I'll link in the description below along with his YouTube channel. The subject of today's video is regarding goal setting, with Marco offering some great tips and advice. So without delaying any further, let me hand over to Marco. Alright, let's quickly talk about how to set goals, to set yourself up for higher performance but also higher life satisfaction. And I learned about this specifically in my Master of Psychology at the Maastricht University and I really want to share here with you the most important knowledge, the four key points that you need to know to set goals. You don't really need to watch any other video now or do more research about this. This is the most important information here based on research. Point number one is to set a learning goal versus performance goal. A performance goal means I want to have 1000 subscribers. A learning goal means I want to, I want to really master editing and and generally general video, video shooting. I want to shoot entertaining videos that are also fun, but give educational input. Okay, that's a learning goal. What do you learn? It gives you a totally different approach. If you want to focus on the performance, you think about, okay, how can I just get more subscribers? Doesn't matter that the videos get better or whatever. I just want to have more subscribers. How can I do this? It's not very sustainable. Also, you won't be so motivated on the long run. And also, if you focus on this discrepancy that you still don't have it, it makes you less motivated and less happy. But a learning goal implies that you're a learner and not there yet. That's normal. You enjoy more of the journey. You have longer motivational levels on the, on the long run. And yeah, you perform better on the long run and you make sure that the content and the videos in this example is getting better, which is much more sustainable than just getting 1000 subscribers, right? And you can apply this to everything. Of course, performance goals, you can also use them and intermingle them. Um, but generally focus more on learning goals. But you could intermingle them now in the second step, for example, because the second point that is very important is to set sub goals. People are very bad at having this one goal and then making it specific. What do you need to do about this now? And that's why you could, for example, ask yourself, that's what I did when I set goals for straight mind. Okay, I have this learning goal, this vision of straight mind, um, that I want straight mind, what I want straight mind to be. Um, what need to be met so this goal needs to be reached. Okay, um, YouTube is one factor, uh, my coaching business is one factor, another factor is digital learning. Okay, what do you need to do that this is met? Okay, for YouTube I need to um, improve my editing skills and I do this by buying more plugins, asking this one friend that I have that he's very good at, um, at, at editing, um, watch more tutorials and deliberately set time to actually practice and get better editing done. Okay, and you can do this for every point. And here then you set sub goals and break it down. This is key. And those are also goals, they're all goals. This is more on a meta level and here it goes smaller. Here are also learning goals, but you can also intermingle performance goals here, of course. That's also fine. Um, third point, it's setting approach goals in general. Whatever you're doing, usually it's better to approach something and not set avoidance goals. Avoidance goals would be, I don't want to be overweight. Well, that you don't really know what to do, right? You wanna focus on what you want to reach. So set, yeah, I'll just try to visualize it this way. Set approach goals, basic point. And the third, fourth point is, and this is based on the goal setting theory by Locke, is that the best performance happens if you set high and specific goals. And this can be connected to the SMART method. If you don't know the SMART method, just Google it, you will understand it in one minute. Um, but here they talk about specific measurable goals, right? Um, timely goals, which is also, again, connected to being specific. Of course, it needs to be relevant to your entire uh, goal set in general. Um, and they also talked about attainability, of course. So yes, make it very cha challenging and high, but it needs to be realistic. So specific and high goals. Right? To sum it up, generally set learning goals, do your sub goals, all goals need to be approach goals, and set them high and specific. This 
is all the information, the most important information that you need. The question though now is, what are your goals? Did you set already some goals? Don't you have any goals? Then start setting some. It will help you to be more productive, but also just, yeah, to be more satisfied um, by thriving towards something that you really um, want to be or want to do. And yeah, reformulate your goals right now because now you didn't learn anything. You need to apply this into your day-to-day -day life. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave comments below. I answer all your questions and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks Marco for the great summary on setting effective and achievable goals. Hopefully everyone got value from this. I've also contributed a video to Marco's channel, so please be sure to go check it out and show Marco support. Thanks for watching.